Hi, I'm Hannah. Thanks for watching. Today I am sharing my spring knitting plans. I know in my last video where I did a q and A, I I shared how I don't really plan out my knits that much anymore. Um, in the past I've done like, here's what I'm gonna try and knit this spring or fall or whatever. And I was like, oh, I just, I just don't need that stress to try and, you know, <laughs> follow through on all my plans. But I realized for the spring and summer knits, I actually do have projects planned. And so I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you. Um, these are all set in good faith, but I may or may not actually complete them because life happens and sometimes, you know, it's the knitting world, new patterns come out and I want to make them or it's just life and I don't end up having time. But I have four projects that I want to share that I have yarn already for and I would like to make. <laughs> if you are planning to make any of these or if you already have made any of these, I would love to hear from you if you have um, tips or you know, if you liked them, if you didn't like them, you can tell me that too. Um, I'd like to know before I make them, but I think they're all really great patterns. And so I am excited to um, get started on them. And I will share the pattern designer, that information. I'll put pictures up as needed. And then I will also tell you what yarn I already own for these um, knits. As always, there'll be timestamps. So if you wanna see a specific project, you can skip through. I'm also doing something new. I am going to put a Ravelry link um, below in my description box. And it's just a wish list of these patterns that um, I am planning to make. So sometimes I get questions in my DMs, like on Instagram, not that often, but sometimes where people say, hey, I don't really need like a kid's pattern, but I'd love to still support you. Is there something I can do? And so I usually just say, you know, you can like or share or whatever, but I, um, yeah, I've just seen people do a wish list before. So if you wanted to buy me a pattern, you could. Please don't feel pressure. Uh, it's totally fine, you know, if not or whatever. But if you are wondering, oh, I wonder what I can do to support Hannah or whatnot, you can purchase them through Ravelry and it will go to me, um, which is kind of cool. Um, anyway, let's get started. The first one I'm going to share is actually a test knit. And I've talked about it a little bit, mostly because I didn't know what yarn to use. I have decided on a yarn. And the pattern is the Skyline T by Tori Yu. It is the fingering weight version of a winter pattern that she put out, which I think was called the Skyline Sweater. And um, I decided to go ahead and buy this yarn from my sister. She purchased it for me from a recent sale for my birthday in the fall, but um, she like asked me about it and what color I wanted and stuff. And so I said, you know what? I think I want that for my Skyline T. <laughs> Um, so this is what I'm going to use for the test knit I'm working on and I have already started it. So I have, um, one of the panels done. It's a saddle shoulder construction and it does start like in pieces. Um, and so this is one of the saddles for the shoulder. So I have one and a half done and I'm very excited about it. I think that this will be, um, a t-shirt I get a lot of wear out of. This is the other one. It is knit on US three needles, so it's kind of a classic summer tee with the fingering weight, but I had to go up a needle size because I did not meet gauge. Um, so I'm really glad that I um, swatched because otherwise I would have a shrunken fit t-shirt. <laughs> um, but let's talk what my like hopes are for my spring knitting. So I watched Haley from the Knit Weekend, her video, and she shared kind of her colors for spring, her plans for what kind of shape she wanted in her wardrobe, like cardigan or um, she knits a lot of vests or um, things that she could wear as like a tank top, but also a vest. She lives in Nashville. Um, so where I am, I feel like has sort of similar weather, but maybe a little different. So she didn't share like specific patterns, more of just like the vibe she was going for for her spring knitting. I have specific patterns and specific yarn because they already own the yarn and you know, whatnot. But I also want to talk about what I'm going for because I loved hearing what she was going for with her spring knitting. She included pops of color. She wanted to branch out into, you know, what is kind of like a trend color right now. Um, and I really just appreciated her insight into that. Um, I think that last year I spent my spring and summer knitting trying new techniques and using yarns I already had um, that were sort of out of my comfort zone colors. And while I fully enjoyed 
those knitting projects. I don't know that I wear them that often. Um, and that's fine because I like enjoyed the new techniques, all those things. I don't regret it at all. I still recommend the patterns. Just for me, they didn't fit into my wardrobe um, as cohesively. And that was okay because I was prepared for that. Like I knit the intarsia top with Haley and it was wonderful. And I had never knit intarsia before. It was fun to knit with a friend. I would probably wear hers because I like the colors on hers a little more than mine. But anyway, um, so this year, the vibes I'm going for are really to just fit into my wardrobe already. I'm not looking to try something new with colors um, as I'm looking <laughs> at my color choices. Uh, maybe to... Um, expand my wardrobe into more of a, um, I have in no way a like minimalist closet or um, capsule wardrobe or anything like that. Don't think that about me. That is not true. I have a lot of clothes that I wear or don't wear, but I think I would like to get more into that vibe of like, this shirt can go with these pants, these pants, these shorts, all of those things. And so my goal with this is that it fits in with could go with white pants. It could go with my brown linen pants. It could go with black shorts, white shorts. Um, it could go with navy green or navy. It could go with army green. It could go with all of my summer jackets. So that is the goal I think for my summer knits is to just kind of narrow in on things that will be really wearable for me in terms of color and shape. So I felt like the skyline tee is very wearable for me. A lot of times I like to cover my shoulders in the summer because I get very sunburned and my shoulders are covered in freckles and they don't need any more. And so that is why I like the Skyline tee. I've already used this yarn before for a sweater that I wear really often. And so I do think that the yarn, it's a, okay, what is it? Okay, it's an organic cotton and super fine alpaca blend. So I really think this will be a good, Good yarn for me, good shape for me, and the color I like as well. I don't know that it's like my color. <laughs> I've had my colors done maybe one day, but it's a color that I like, so I'm going with it. So those are like the vibes, I guess, for my spring and summer knitting illustrated by this first project. Um, the next project that I'm planning to make are some socks. They are the Hibernal Socks by Summerly Knits and this yellow color. Now this color is a little bit out of my comfort zone. It's coming up brighter on the screen, but it is a little more muted. Um, this is Santa's Garn Perfect. This is yarn I had purchased for a gift knit and didn't use all of it. And so I think socks would be the perfect place to have this yellow. Um, again, it will go with a lot of colors in my wardrobe that I already have. Um, it will go with my white tennis shoes. So I think this is a nice springy color. Um, and the sock pattern is DK weight. It has cables. It's beautiful. I think this will be a fun project for in between all of the fingering weight knits that I have planned because that's what all of these are. <laughs> and so having this project that I think I can complete quickly and will be enjoyable in terms of the cables are fun. I do like knitting socks. Um, yeah, so I, I would really like to, I don't know, cast these on soon-ish so I can just have something for the in between when I really don't wanna knit with <laughs> super fine yarn. Um, the DK weight socks will be my answer to that. Originally, I didn't have these in my queue for the spring and summer, but I felt like adding in a project that would be more quickly gratifying would be helpful for longevity in terms of completing all of these projects. Um, okay, next I have some Knitting for Olive. I am such a big Knitting for Olive fan, you guys. I know I share a lot of, you know, yarns that I have. Um, used from them. I just worked on my, almost done with my Harlow sweater v-neck. It is in Knitting for Olive. Um, my, what did I just finish? My Vertices Unite is in Knitting for Olive. So I am a fan. I love the Merino, the heavy Merino. I think I've used both of those. I don't think I've used anything else. Oh, I've used the Knitting for Olive Pure Silk for a sample knit. Um, I'd like to try the cotton Merino. That's the only one I think I haven't tried because I have knit with the mohair. Anyway, big fan. This is brown nougat. It's kind of like a pinkish brown. I had to have my light on today um, because it's quite cloudy and so the lighting's not as good. But um, I picked this up in Brussels when we visited our 
sister-in-law, well, my husband's sister, and her family in Brussels. And um, I think this is from Sippin' It. I'm not sure. I will link my video to Yarn Shops in Brussels, and I definitely share where I got it from in that video. Um, but this is their merino, so fingering weight. I picked up enough of these to make the Salty Air Tea by uh, Samantha. I'm trying to remember her handle. Anyway, I will put it in the description box. But she recently came out with a Salty Air sweater, which I think is lovely, but I had wanted to make the Salty Air Tea for a long time. I have seen um, a lot of people like make it and just wear it a bunch and it looks like a beautiful elevated summer tee that I could wear often either for you know something fun and um, like a date night but also I could just wear every day or for filming an episode um, and I like this color it is very similar to the well actually it's not that similar they're just both brown okay they're not that similar um, this is really kind of pinkish almost um and honestly I think in the store I thought it was more brown but now that it's home with me it's definitely more pink um again I'm not sure that this is my color it's okay <laughs> um if it washes me out I don't really mind that much right now maybe I will learn more about that but anyway it's just uh, the color I liked and I wanted to to get it and so I like that little bit of lace Detail, I haven't done lace in a really long time. I'm trying to think the last time I did lace. It's been a long time. <laughs> um, I don't dislike it. Um, I think I just get concerned, like, will it be too holy? Um, I don't feel like this will be. I think it'll be sort of similar to my ranunculus where um, it's just the feature. It's not necessarily, like, see-through, um, which is another thing I'm going for with my summer knits. I want them to be easy to wear. I don't want to have to think about it a lot. And so it would be nice if it was not see-through. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm using Knitting for Olive, Merino. Has anyone knit the Salty RT? I feel like a lot of people I follow have knit it. I don't know that they follow me back because they are like a lot larger creators than I am. But um yeah, I really, I really like it and I'd like to make it and I have the yarn for it. So hopefully this is the year. <laughs> um, while I'm talking, please let me know what your summer knitting plans are. Are you a planner or not a planner? I would say the only reason I have planned my knits out more in the last two years is because I have been trying to lower my consumption of yarn because I have yarn in my yarn pantry. After last year where I just knit from my yarn pantry, I realized that I actually like buying yarn with a pattern already in mind. And in general, I had done that in the past. I just changed my mind. Um, so that's not really very helpful. But I do think that these I have all purchased with the pattern in mind. And that has been helpful for me for actually completing the projects that I am intending to complete. Um, so I do think that has been helpful for me. Just something I learned after last year when I was trying to cobble together projects with yarn I already had. I know Mia of the Knit and Grace podcast. She talks about how she chooses her patterns from yarn she already has. And so if you are looking to do that, I think that would be helpful to watch. I That was the hardest part for me of not buying yarn. It wasn't actually not buying yarn. It was trying to knit with the yarn I already had. Even though I had sweaters quantities, I had a lot of yarn, I just struggled to put those together. So this year I'm trying to purchase yarn with the pattern in mind and actually commit to making it. Um, this yarn was purchased with a pattern in mind. This is Lindarn and it's a linen yarn. Let's see, I have the label on this one, it's not wound up. This is Lindarn, it is, well, I think it's 100% linen. I'm not really seeing the information about it. I also am not sure that I would know because it's not in English. <laughs> I picked this up at Stephen and Penelope in Amsterdam. Um, let me talk about this a little bit. My sister had previously gone to Stephen and Penelope in Amsterdam and picked up uh, two skeins of this yarn for a specific pattern in mind. The pattern is Everyday Attitude by Suzanne Summer. Um, she had picked up the yarn but she, or she was gifted it. I can't remember in my head, I can't remember. But she did not have enough. So when I went, she said, can you go to Stephen and Penelope and see if they have the same linen yarn? And I said, of 
course, I'm planning to go, so I will definitely find this yarn for you. But um, I think I misunderstood, and I ended up getting like two different colors, and really she was looking for two skeins of the same color. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, I did not understand. And so I have three different colors of this beautiful linen yarn. So she has what she needs to make the tea. I was planning to make it with her, so we just needed another color, I guess. And instead I got two different colors. Um, I don't know, I even texted her while I was in the store and asked. I just like, it went over my head. So anyway, I think that I really just need like one of each plus a little bit more. And so whatever she doesn't use, we're gonna have to make inverse colors. We can't make them matching, which is fine. Um, when we were little, one of us always wanted to match and one of us did not want to match. So I think inverse will be fine. Um, but anyway, I don't know which one I'm going to use. So should I make this with the, this is Umbra and then I don't know what this is called. Um, or I could do this with the Umbra and the green. This is olive. Or I could do green and, and this sort of brown gray. I don't know which one I like. I'm trying to envision them in a full sweater on myself <laughs> with the stripes. I don't know, maybe this. I kind of like this. I also kind of like these together. That would be out of my comfort zone, but two colors I wear often, so not totally out of my comfort zone. Just putting them together would be different for me. Um, so let me know what you think of them together. Um, it is 100% linen. It will be quite, I don't know if you can see how small that is. It's super fine. It will be quite a probably long knit. I have knit with 100% linen before and um, for the Pearl Soho dumpling bag knit along and I enjoyed it. Um, but I have heard feedback from people saying that's difficult for their hands um, to work with. And so for such a large project, I do think it'll be good to have um, like this project for in between. <laughs> um, so anyway, I am excited. I've never knit a linen garment. I've used linen quill, which is a blend, but this will be 100%. And it'll be fun to have something that my sister will also make and that like we both got from Stephen and Penelope on separate trips to Amsterdam. Um, but I just have to decide which color. I might just watch in this to see if I meet Gage, but also I would like to see the stripes. Oh, I should make a swatch with stripes, like half and half. I could use all three. I could use all three colors and see what that's like. Okay, wow. Well, this is not my first one in the queue, so I will have some time to think about it and to read your comments, but I do think that um, this will be fun. I'm, I am truly excited about it. Maybe three colors. I don't know, I'll have to talk to my sister too and see what she decided because I don't think she had decided which would be her main color. So whichever main color she chooses, I need to choose the opposite so that we have enough yarn <laughs> because I did not understand the assignment when I went to the yarn shop. Okay, I have one last thing I'm planning to knit for spring um, and this is a personal design project. Um, here's the swatch. This is Knit Pick Stroll that I'm using. I have a bunch from previous design projects and Knit Picks has a lot of different um, price points and lines of yarn. So Knit Pick Stroll is their um, sock yarn. It's super washable and nylon. And I think this would be nice for a summer knit for a little one in your life. So I am swatching right now and I will send off the pattern to tech editing at the end of March. Um, so I have a few weeks to knit the sample, get that done, sent off, and then I will have a test call for you. So um, generally my test calls go to my email subscribers, that is below, and then I'll put them on Instagram um, if I have like sizes left. And what I'm looking for, this is going to be a summer weight version of my Micah's Raglan sweater. I have a picture here. This is consistently the best selling pattern <laughs> that I have. And so I am going to make a tea version for the summer um, because I have seen so many modifications of people making like cardigan versions um, or just using different yarns to make it summery. And I thought, why not just put out a tea pattern um, 
so that people don't have to modify it on their own. Um, and then the second pattern that I'm working on this spring is actually updating my Micah's Raglan to fit my new format of patterns. It was one of my earlier patterns and so it's still um, not with like similar branding to the patterns I'm putting out now. And so I wanna update that. I'll send it back through tech editing to make sure I did not mess anything up. Um, and then I'll have it be like a fresh, obviously that update will go out to everyone who's purchased the pattern, but um, it will just look a little bit more modern, updated, all of that for you if you want to purchase it. Um, so this is two different needle sizes and it's hard to tell, but I just didn't want it to be too see-through for kiddos, but I also like don't want it to be too um, like difficult to knit, if that makes sense, by using such a small needle. So this is a US four with fingering weight yarn and then this is a US three. Um, and I think I'm gonna go with the US four because I don't actually see a huge difference like in the amount of light that's coming through. Um, so I'm not like, I think this will be good to use the US four for the pattern. Um, so I'm writing that up now, it's in, it's in spreadsheet form and then it will become, you know, actual pattern form and then it will go to the tech editor and then it will come to you eventually. Um, but this will probably be like a summer summer launch, like maybe April, May, June, June or July, um, because I like to include a good test window, whatnot. It won't be too long because it's just a t-shirt, but um, it will be long enough. Okay, so those are my summer plans, spring and summer plans. Spring is here almost. Um, and then summer, this will probably take me all spring and summer to knit these, let's be honest. They're, these are small projects in terms of like, you know, they have short sleeves, all that. I'm not knitting another cardigan, but they are fingering weight patterns and um, yeah, they all have something unique about them. Um, lace, saddle shoulder, 100% linen, lots of different things. So I, um, yeah, I will keep you updated on these projects. This is what you can look for in my project updates videos. Um, I will have one hopefully next week. I got some new yarn that I would love to share with you at the Carolina Fiber Fest. And um, I also have made some serious progress on some of my projects. So I want to share those with you. Um, but first I just wanted to give you kind of an update of what I'm looking forward to knitting this spring and probably into the summer. Please let me know what you are working on. I hope you have a lovely day and happy knitting.